Hello everyone, my name is Soraya and I do all the filming for my husband, Terry, aka Stutzman52. If you like this video or any other video on Stutzman52 channel, click on the subscribe button, then click on the settings button. Check it off and then click on the save button. Now you'll be notified by email of any new video uploads for this channel. Thank you. Hey, welcome back guys. Let's go ahead and uh, work on this exhaust system. Gonna take this bracket here. Gonna mount it right up here. Let's get these two bolts in there. All right, I don't have a torque spec on this, so I'm gonna snug it up good and tight. 13 millimeter socket. We'll take care of that for you. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this here exhaust bracket. It's gonna go up just like you see right now. It's gonna go up to these two studs right here. <clears throat> it's right here behind the oil pan where the oil plug is at. Of course, the studs is already been cleaned. <clears throat> Nuts has been cleaned. And right now, I'm just going to finger tighten it up. I'm not going to tighten it up uh, until we see we get our exhaust up in there. Catalytic converter. Okay. I want to be able to move this thing around. Also, <coughs> up here, I took a rotary wire brush and I cleaned up inside this here tailpipe. Get all this excess rust that's off up in here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh -uh. Well, anyway, right where I'm pointing, be sure to clean that all up. Also, up underneath the exhaust manifold flange where I'm pointing at, you also want to clean that up. Work on the catalytic converter. All right, on the uh, tail end of this catalytic converter, we got this here seal. I'm going to replace that. And of course, you want to clean all this up, get all the excess rust off, try to get as much as you can off on the flange. Okay, and up here on this end, on the inlet side, I've already cleaned this all up. There's a gasket right here. And that'll fit down in that groove. I'm going to replace him also. Okay, I took the O2 sensors out, both of them. Took a tap, ran down through the threads, M18 by 1.5 millimeter. Got those cleaned out. Okay, also got the studs taken out. Okay, this right here, this is going to be an M10 by 1.5 millimeter. I ran a tamp down through those. Those are cleaned up. So, let's start putting some of this back together. Woohoo! Okay. And now on the studs here that I'm putting back into this here flange, I'm going to use a copper anti-seize lubricant here. So I'm using a flux brush here. Putting a little bit on it. And then I'm going to just put some on these threads here. Seven millimeter socket to fit the studs. And I'm just going to snug it up. You want to hold that for me, Soraya? I forgot to mention about these uh, two holes right here. Now two of these bolts right here, that's going to be for the uh, heat shield, exhaust heat shield. These, And I ran a tap through these also. These here are M6 by 1.0. 
And also there's two up there on the exhaust manifold, so I've already taken care of those by running that tap through those two holes also. Now this is a gasket here that's on the outlet of the catalytic converter. This is the one that looked like that uh, donut there. So, let's go ahead and take him out. Okay, make sure he's seated all the way down. And this one is the exhaust uh, gasket that's going to go up on the inlet side of the catalytic converter. This one's made by Felpro. And I don't think there's no difference between the two sides, so you can put it in either way. Okay, and again, what I'm going to use here is uh, copper anti C's. I'm going to put a little bit on these studs using that again, using a flux brush. Flux brush. Yep. Like flux capacitator, right? Wasn't that in flux uh, capacitator? Wasn't that in the... Uh, I like that word. <laughs> capacitator. Wasn't that in the uh, Back to the Future? Yep, that is correct. But I believe they called that the flux capacitor. Ah. Uh, I didn't know you could have flux with a capacitor. Fluxes with uh, magnetic fields, inductance. Never heard of that with uh, capacitors. Maybe the doc discovered something new there, huh? That's right. Wow. Back in okay. time, that'd be great. Back in time. All right, I believe we got enough uh, stuff on there. Okay. Now we're going to get ready. Let's put this thing up underneath the car and see if we can't get it installed. Also, remember, Put your gasket in there. I took it out so I can go ahead and get this, uh, put this uh, handy C's on the studs there. Now to get the catalytic converter in, first thing, take the outlet side and just set it up here on the cross member. Next step, take your three studs, get them up there and maneuver them up in there into the exhaust manifold flange. And before you push it all the way up, make sure the gasket up there is still in the groove. Get your three nuts started, but don't tighten them up yet. All right, now I'm gonna take my bracket. Now, this, this, the nuts that's on the studs, that's up there at the top on the catalytic converter, I have the nuts flush with the end of the stud. That'll make this here pretty loose, and we should be able to get this here bracket up over top, and then we can just drop these studs right on down in there. Okay, and we'll put the nuts on and we'll get them on there next. All right, I'm putting a little bit of copper anti-seize on these studs for this uh, catalytic converter bracket. Okay, I got both of the nuts on, but I'm gonna leave them loose for right now so I can, uh, so this bracket can move around. Now, we wanna take this in at the outlet of the converter and we wanna put it up inside this here pipe. So, let's see if we can lift this up without damaging this here gasket. All right, now we're ready to get our bolts and springs and nuts to put together right here. And let's talk about that in the next step. All right, now this is the spring bolts that goes back at the tail end of the catalytic converter. There's our flag nut, here's our spring, Okay, and here's a shoulder bolt. Okay, now as you may know, the other one I couldn't save. All right, so I go to the dealership. I'm thinking I'm gonna get exactly pretty much what I got here. That's why I go to the dealer, right? Right. So when I go to the dealer, this is what I get. And that's it. Now you can see there's a big difference in these things. Okay, now, <clears throat> 
this here shoulder stops up against the bracket. Okay, this will actually go right through the slot on the bracket. So I didn't like that. So I'm 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 not even going to use these things. So I'm gonna come up with another method, and let's go take a look at it, and you can see what I come up with. All right, guys, this is uh what I came up with. This right here is the original bolt spring. There's a flag nut. There's a head of the bolt. Okay, so you can see what that looks like. Now this is uh, what I came up with. Just kind of simulate that original bolt. Okay, so you can see how that'll look. Here's an exploded view, so you can see all the pieces there. The only one that I had to actually get made was this here spacer. Good friend of mine at work is a tool maker, John Brown. He made that for me. I appreciate that, John. Over here, here's the uh, drawings for it. And I just got my part numbers for most of the stuff I got from McMaster Car. And also, the last thing, here's the spacer. And this is, uh, there's the dimensions. So I gave this drawing to John and he uh, whipped this thing out for me. Made two of them. That's pretty much it, guys. Okay. Now this is what, this is what I came up with. And I had a good friend of mine at work. He's a tool maker. And his name is John Brown. And he turned down these sleeves for me. So this is an ex pretty much an exact replica of what you see here on the other side. As far as the shoulder height, you know, the length of the bolts and everything. So that's what I'm going to use. This is stainless steel. And I've made, uh, had two of them. So we're just going to go ahead. We'll rob the spring off of this one right here. And we'll stick him on there. And this is what I'm going to be using. So I don't think, I don't think these things are going to corrode. And also I'm going to put on an uh, anti-seize on this. And this is an anti-seize that's made for stainless steel. So let's get ready. Let's get out of the car. Let's go ahead and let's put this on. All right, this is the anesthesia I'm using on these stainless steel fasteners up here under the exhaust here for the spring bolts. This here is suitable for stainless steel. So that's what I put. I just got through putting on the uh, threads. Three nuts up here on the exhaust manifold on the inlet side of the catalytic converter. It's 35 foot-pounds of torque. Now, what I'm doing, since I have a little bit of anesthesia on here, I backed off. I'm, I'm torquing them up at 30 foot-pounds. Okay, that's what I have right now. So, I've already checked the other ones. I think they're all right. Yep. Okay, that looks good. Okay, this is what I got. These here bolts will be torqued to 30 foot-pounds. Now, in my case, since I put a little anti-seize on here, I torqued them up to 25 foot-pounds. And they're pretty snug. And so you can see pretty much what I got here. Okay. Now these two nuts, one here, one over there, for this bracket, 35 foot pounds. Okay. There's one. There's two. 18 millimeter socket on this here bolt. I'm just gonna go ahead and snug it. Okay, now for the bracket that's going behind the catalytic converter, two nuts, one there, one over there. I'm going to torque them up to 30 foot pounds of torque. There's one, and there's two. All right, all right, got to put the O2 sensor in. I got a little bit of copper anti seize on the threads. I'm going to go ahead and screw him in. That's the blue one. Yeah, it's got the blue sh uh, sheaf around the cable. This is the post O2 sensor. All right, I can't get a socket on here, so I'm using a 7 8 uh, wrench. Just snug it up. 
Yeah, scoot them there. Okay. Take the uh, clip right here for the post uh, cat O2 sensor. Let's go ahead and get him hooked up. Should be able to just snap them in place. Give a little bit of loop in there for for flexing. <coughs> Good. And he'll be routed on up there near the top. That's all right, so we'll get him a little bit later. Same thing, got a little bit of copper anti seize on the threads, screwing the one end up on the top side. I'm just snugging it up. Okay. I just use O2 sensor socket on that one. Alright, next is get an EGR tube, screw it back up into the uh, catalytic converter flange. And uh, what I have is a little bit of copper anisees on that also. So, get that screwed up in there. Get a 7 8 open end wrench or get a crow's foot. Whatever you like. And then we'll snug this thing up. Alright, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Next step is our EGR bracket tube here. Goes over the stud, goes behind there. Let's put a nut on. Oh, I like that kind of easy job. For well, here, you can do the bolt. Here, want the bolt? It's okay, go ahead. It's no. <laughs> real. Now that we have the car up on the jack stands. Yeah. Have you ever made love under a car? No. Why does on just well, scare the heck out of me? <laughs> <laughs> scared that thing will fall on my face. I tell you what. Okay. Uh, this here, uh, but going back, I see a torque fitting for this uh, setting for this right here. Good luck if you can get a torque wrench on there. Forty-four foot pounds or sixty newton meters. In my case, I just snugged it up good. Over here, these two, it's going to be 18 foot-pounds, or 25 newton meters. All right, 18, 18 foot-pounds. There we go. One more check. That was good. Okay, last bolt on the EGR tube. 10 millimeter wrench will fit that for you. I'll just snug them up. Okay. Get your heat shield down in there. I got a new one here. Four bolts, two here, two down here. Seven millimeter socket will take care of it. 89 inch pounds is the torque. But what I'm gonna do, and by the way, I also got some copper anti-seize on this here, anti-seize. So uh, I'm just gonna snug it up, okay? Are you ready for a break? Please. Okay, we'll do a break. Especially after getting that exhaust on there. All right, guys, the only thing we got left is uh, just putting the top of this engine together. Valve cover, air intake, coolant bottle, fill it up with fluids, and we'll be cranking this thing up. So let's close this video out, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. You take care.